My name is Philippa Gregory and I'd like to introduce you to my new novel, The White Queen. This is going to be part of a series of novels set in what I call and what they called at the time the Cousins' War, what most people know as the War of the Roses. And it's the story of Elizabeth Woodville, the extraordinary wife of Edward IV. Edward IV came to the throne because he challenged the House of Lancaster. He was of York and he challenged the House of Lancaster, the rightful King of England, Henry VI, and won the throne from him. And when he was riding to one of the many battles of the Wars of the Roses, he saw a woman standing by the roadside and it was Elizabeth Woodville, a widow with two little boys, and she asked him would he help her get her rightful dowry money back into her hands. Her mother-in-law wasn't letting her have it. And he stopped and he granted her that request, but he did much more. He fell in love with her and he made her Queen of England. This is a story so gloriously romantic, so ridiculously fine, that you would think that it would be bound to be in the pages of a historical novel, but it's actually in the pages of the history of England, and I have made it into the pages of my historical novel. It is very quiet, but for a single bird singing. His face is grave. May I send a page boy to bring you to me tonight? I have a longing for you, Lady Elizabeth Grey, that I have never felt for any woman before. Will you come to me? I shake my head. Forgive me, Your Grace, but I am a woman of honour. I may never ask you again. God knows I may never ask any woman again. There can be no dishonour in this. I could die next week. Even so. Are you not lonely? He asks. I can feel the warmth of his breath on my cheek. And do you feel nothing for me? Can you say you don't want me? Just once. Don't you want me now? My gaze lingers on his mouth. Then I meet his eyes. Dear God, I have to have you. Their family went on to greatness and they were great royal kings of England and they took England to a position of security and stability for the years that Edward was alive. But when he died, his brother Richard usurped the throne and took the two young heirs, Elizabeth's boys, into the Tower of London. And in the history we have a very poignant record of the boys being sighted on the green playing at archery, then being sighted looking out from the barred windows of the Tower of London and then not being seen anymore. What happened to Elizabeth's boys? What happened to Elizabeth? What happened to Elizabeth's beautiful daughter, Princess Elizabeth of York, is the subject of the new novel, and I hope you enjoy it. <laughs>